There are reports tonight that some members of the special counsel team investigating alleged Russian collusion during the 2016 election may feel that the attorney general is not adequately portraying the results of that investigation and the report. The administration is pushing back hard on anonymously sourced stories. This comes as Republican lawmakers are looking into the ethics of the investigation itself. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has details tonight. The Justice Department issued a rare public statement taking issue with media accounts that the Mueller report contains summaries that were releasable. Quote, every page of the confidential report provided to Attorney General Barr on March 22, 2019, was marked may contain material protected under a law that protects confidential grand jury information and therefore could not be publicly released. The New York Times first reported some special counsel investigators told associates that their findings are far more negative than Barr's four-page summary released last month. A senior Democrat said it backs up his efforts to see the full report and secure Mueller's testimony. There's some dissatisfaction over how, complete, how accurately uh, Barr represented the report, but again, the answer is, let's see it. On Twitter, the president knocked the story, writing, the New York Times had no legitimate sources, which would be totally illegal concerning the Mueller report. In fact, they probably had no sources at all. Despite the president's tough talk about what he calls a witch hunt, one of the president's former attorneys told the podcast the president was nothing but cooperative in the Mueller investigation. All this, what I call uh, mainstream knee-jerk theories, these wild theories, he was really trying to get rid of Bob. That was not Separately, these letters obtained by Fox News show Republican Senators Grassley and Graham alerted Barr last month that congressional investigators uncovered evidence of potential improper political influence, misconduct, and mismanagement in the Russia probes. Fox News understands the senators wanted Barr to have the information before he reviewed Mueller's findings. After congressional investigators alleged, special counsel prosecutors used selective quotes and court filings to create the most negative interpretation possible. This 20 17 letter shows Grassley directly warned Mueller, citing emails from Trump campaign aide George Papadopoulos, among others, about traveling to Russia during the presidential race. Quote, in the full context, the emails in question actually show that the Trump campaign wanted someone low level to decline these types of invitations. On the Mueller reports delivered to Congress, there is significant time pressure. At the end of next week, both the House and Senate go on recess. Sources tell Fox News Justice Department officials hope to complete their review in coming days, meeting the attorney general's goal of mid-April, Brett. Captain, thank you.